welcome to HP. It's quite nice uh, to, to show you and to speak about a little bit uh, about our story that is quite singular and quite nice, even because uh, we were born just 11 years ago when uh, we decided just to, uh, to put a new small fire in a local area that is well known as uh, uh, Composite Valley. And, uh, and HP means uh, High Performance Composite. So we decided just to focus our attention on where and what the, the real added value of composite materials represent. So uh, HP, High Performance, we decided to, to give our support on whatever, <coughs> in particular on the motorsport, the composite represents. In uh, 2011, we just uh, started to have and to receive the interest of the actual owner, that is uh, Mr. Jacques Nicolet, is a French entrepreneur, completely and fully passionate on uh, motorsport because uh, he is a gentleman driver. And when I say gentleman driver, I mean uh, someone that drew for 10 times the 24 hours of Le Mans. So he's someone that is passionate, but also is a driver and uh, field perfectly what does it mean to drive something that is a completely very high performance. So he decided just to invest in the second half of his life in something that was completely focused on motorsport. So he, he bought the, the brand of Ligier Automotive and decided just to, to launch in the market Ligier Automotive endurance prototype and motorsport cars. Starting from 2014, the management changed and then the HP started to become something different. Today is quite nice, after 11 years, we are 750 people, 5 buildings, 22 square meters roofed area. We decided just to invest in the total verticalization of the process because we think that is uh, the main driver to be competitive and to promote as much as possible the usage of composite in one future for the automotive that is uh, representing a very important uh, topic to develop because uh, powertrain, powertrain is becoming uh, uh, electric. The hydrogen technology is starting to give uh, some glance for the future. So if we use uh, electric, we should use battery it means that the weight will uh, increase, but it also means that we need to reduce the weight. The only way to reduce the weight is to use composite. So today, HP is very involved in uh, uh, future electric powertrain supercar, but also for motorsport, we started to be everywhere there is the need of uh, high performance. So we are putting our hands on not only anymore so on the motorsport, but also on uh, automotive, nautic, aerospace, furnishing. And uh, where is something that has to demonstrate the added value, the feature of the composite, we should start to put our hands. So we decided to invest in order to give the best uh, turnkey product to the, to the customer. So today we received the drawing from uh, our customers and we are able to propose uh, the process to use, we can uh, make some new completely, a brand new one process to tailor the cost and the performances of our customers, but also materials, the architectures of the reinforcement, but also we have a very good relationship with uh, raw material supplier to, <coughs> to work together to find solutions for, for the future. We, we never stay calm, let me say, just because we need always to find a solution for the future. Sustainability and uh, circular economy are the key points for the future. Natural fiber, but not only, and also uh, the recover of the waste coming from the pre-preg cutting is uh, our main target for the, for the 
short terms because we are participating also to some uh, several European and Italian project in which we are just uh, to find solution to design some machine to recover waste but also to to find a new alternative uh, natural fiber like uh, hemp uh, like uh, bamboo and uh, whatever is in hanks as well so uh, is uh, something that we, we, we are just trying to, to promote as much as possible. It's quite paradoxical because also in the motorsport we, we, we are involved also in the Formula E where the FIA is uh, uh, writing and is asking to use <coughs> a minimum percentage of uh, uh, natural fiber on the car. So in the next future we will see more natural fiber or alternative material or sustainable materials in the, also in the motorsport, but also in the automotive market as well. The next step will be to, to develop and to study some uh, uh, bio uh, metrics that could be combined with the natural in order to have a completely sustainable support uh, as with metrics and as with the reinforcement to find the best solution. Quite important also is our uh, relationship with the territory because uh, uh, when we speak about future, it is quite mandatory to, to collaborate with schools. So the average age in HP is quite low, so we have very young people, so we are talking about 25, 20, uh, 28 years old people. So we are trying to build the future for the next 20 years also for the people that are working in HP. So we start from the school to arrive up to the university. So we have a very good relationship with uh, uh, Ancona, Politecnico and uh, uh, Camarino as well, but uh, we are producing uh, several uh, new uh, training courses because inside the Ever Speed Group, where HP is part of with uh, Ligia Automotive, we have also some uh, one company that is fully dedicated to the training that is called Ecodim Italia. So we launched the Composite Academy that is quite uh, suitable to prepare people starting from uh, uh, the employer in uh, laminators, let me say, up to the designer engineers to design and to project in the proper way what is the uh, high performance composite. <laughs>
bars is quite uh, very close to be a bomb so it's very important the safety and the composite is quite sexy as we usually say because it's a carbon fiber but composite has a lot of very nice features not only the the, the lightweight but because it's, it could be used for safety we have not to forget that the crash box the front crash box and the crash cones, side crash cones of the cars are made with composite and the crash, crash test will pass because of the features of high performance composite as well. Um, for sure that is the shape uh, effect of the crash box itself. We are in one of the several clean room uh, of HP Composite. We, as you can see, uh, so we are laminating. So in this room, uh, the, our skilled personnel applied several uh, uh, plies of carbon fiber on the molds, following the technical instructions and uh, the ply book done by the uh, engineering department. So they apply these several uh, plies to reach the, the needed uh, thickness uh, to, to achieve a certain strength and property of the component. This is only the first step of the process. Uh, of course, after the plies, so in the lamination, there is the curing, so in the autoclave process, or uh, alternative technology as we developed in HP, uh, like the air press molding that you will see later on in, the, in your tour, and then uh, the finishing of the parts, which can be also painted or lacquered, so in depending on the customer specification. This is a very manual job, it's a labor intensive uh, production. It's uh, a really highly uh, engineered product, but in the end the process is still very uh, labor intensive and dependent on the skilled uh, people that we employ so in, in HP. So we, we uh, really uh, focus our attention on the training of the people, so because uh, the quality of the uh, manpower is fundamental to achieve uh, the good re final results on the, on the parts. HP uh, is focus, still focusing on motorsports since we believe it's uh, one uh, of our pillars in our strategy. Uh, however, the market moved uh, more and more uh, into the usage of composite material in the automotive and therefore also HP interest moved to automotive field. We at the moment we work for uh, the biggest company uh, building a supercar in the, in the market like uh, with Ferrari, we have a strong cooperation since many, many years. With the Lamborghini, we are an official partner, technical partner of Lamborghini Squadra Corse. But also we work for other uh, companies in the automotive, uh, even new companies, uh, uh, brand new uh, uh, companies like Rimas, uh, uh, and especially focused in the electric cars, so supercars. Uh, where the weight of uh, the components is, uh, is a of a paramount of importance because uh, uh, to save weight in a car, in the chassis, on the body work uh, means also to gain in terms of uh, 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 performance of the car and uh, lower the consumption. So electric uh, cars, it's one of the biggest uh, uh, market in this moment in the big development and uh, we are working with the major uh, uh, automotive companies in this, uh, in this moment. Another, uh, another market uh, that we see uh, uh, as a, our future is the, the, uh, the natural fiber market, uh, which is uh, uh, particularly uh, requested now, starting from the motorsport, but more and more also implemented in the automotive uh, field. Uh, in fact, all the different kind of natural fiber are uh, in our, uh, in our uh, research and development center uh, very much developed in the last uh, two, three years. 
and we are offering to our customer, uh, especially in the automotive at the moment, uh, different solutions to apply this natural fiber to their body panels or different uh, parts of the, of the cars. Uh, it's part of a bigger strategy in terms of uh, uh, environmental uh, approach. The future of our market, uh, we can say that uh, uh, despite the uh, slowing down of 2020 due to this uh, pandemic global situation, which also affected several uh, uh, markets like automotive, uh, motorsports, we already see a, a big increase of demand of the carbon fiber. And, uh, uh, even the markets uh, we, are, uh, we are in are recovering their position. So we see the uh, biggest demand in, the, in, the, in carbon fiber components, uh, both in the automotive uh, and uh, uh, motorsports. And also in uh, other sectors where uh, HP is also uh, involved, like the marine sector or uh, aerospace sector. So we, we like uh, really to differentiate also our contribution in different markets. Uh, to be present and to share our know-how wherever it's possible to give an added value to our customer. We invested in a very nice uh, department with uh, R&D, research and development, where we have a laboratory, we have uh, bench to, to, to find solutions to test in real time what the calculation could give us in terms of FEM analysis from the technical departments. In the CIRC project that is a big project that aims to provide an answer to, to the end of life of, uh, of materials and reprocess these, uh, these scraps of, of prepreg in order to make them usable. We are working and we are also producing uh, uh, components that are uh, also really interesting uh, in terms uh, of mechanical performance because uh, we are using uh, uh, virgin carbon fiber because uh, its material not cured. The Marlick project that uh, aims to work uh, on biocomposites. We are working uh, in uh, developing new uh, material uh, coming from uh, natural uh, sources uh, and uh, we are trying to solve uh, all the problems that are uh, related to the use of this kind of material. Another interesting uh, project that we are uh, conducting uh, to develop uh, a new racing system uh, that is uh, more sustainable from an environment point of view because uh, what we are going to do is to substitute uh, bisphenol A from, uh, that is typically used in uh, any epoxy formulation that is quite uh, harmful. So, we are going to substitute this component with uh, uh, linen, so with uh, a natural uh, raw material. Performance uh, is the, the first requirement because in the automotive and the, in the motorsport sector, uh, the mechanical performance is the first requirement uh, of uh, our clients. I think that we have to discover more and more up to today of the real usage of composite and we have in front of us a very, very nice future for everyone that uh, is quite important because in the world there are several very good, uh, let me say, colleagues, not competitors, because we work all together for the same very nice field and almost of them are very, very strong. It's quite very I'm very happy when I share with them some uh, thoughts and uh, to find some solution together. So good luck to everyone because the future is quite nice for, for everyone, I think.